Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, That Girl Vani. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking my video. If you've been here before, thank you again for tuning in with me to hear me chit chat and talk about life, really, honestly. Today's video was actually not originally scheduled for today, but I've been getting a lot of questions as far as GMOs, chemicals in our food, chemicals in the air, chemicals in our water, chemicals everywhere. With everything going on, the jab, I personally want and hope that everyone understands how the immune system works. So what I really try to preach is immunity. Immunity, immunity. Build your immune system. We're in a time now where we have chemicals in our air from chemtrails, and you can look all this up. I don't speak on anything false. Everything that I'm speaking on has been researched, has been looked up by yours truly. Feel free to ask me any questions that you may have. Follow me on Instagram if you have not already. I put a lot of information up there. We have chemicals in our air from chemtrails, one, right? We have chemicals in the soil. We have chemicals, and this is, you know, pesticides, herbicides that are now altering. It's called Roundup. You guys can look all of this stuff up. If anybody knows about Monsanto and their business and how basically Roundup is essentially their chemical. It's patented by Monsanto. And what you will find is that these different chemicals basically have glyphosate in them. Glyphosate has terrible, terrible effects on the body. It's, it's, ugh. I was talking to one of my good friends the other day. She actually told me that the FDA only bans like 11 ingredients. 11. Your FDA. <laughs> Mind you, the FDA has packaged meat, processed meat as a carcinogen, labeled as a group one carcinogen, but yet we still have it make that make sense it doesn't make sense so what you will find is that because people are eating the way they do because people are eating processed foods and granted i used to be there too i used to eat terribly i used to eat mcdonald's like every week almost every day chick-fil-a burger king anything that you can name processed honey processed foods and these sugars are not the processed food and sugars that we've had back back long time ago i promise you they're different now the chemicals are very much strong they're powerful and what you will see is that these chemicals affect the body and how we handle diseases how we handle any type of sickness in the body because it's wearing on the immune system now if you have been paying attention to my post throughout this week, I've been chit-chatting about GMOs. GMO is a genetically modified organism, meaning that something has altered the DNA sequence of this organism. So whether it be a fruit, whether it be a vegetable, okay? A lot of people have to understand that these GMOs have not been researched long enough to really know the prolonged effects on human body. I will say that again. <laughs> Cause y'all think shit again, this is real shit. They have not researched this long enough to really know the prolonged effects on the human body. And for me, that's controversial enough in the fact that it just shouldn't be on the shelf. Why do we have an FDA Food and Drug Administration that claims that they are trying to help people and you know, understand our food and understand what's being done. We're operating under a biotech lens in that a lot of this stuff is being engineered. A lot of these things that we have on the market is you know synthetic a lot of this stuff is man-made and it tears on our bodies it tears on our organs it tears on everything that you could possibly think of meat already within itself has parasites and worms in it if you don't believe me look it up it's true okay now you want to add in chemicals and these harsh ways that these animals are being you know kept if you want to even call it kept what the hell as well as gmo oh my gosh both show you how these cattle's pigs are being raised if you want to call that most of the time they're in the dark most of the time they're on steroids that is making them grow so fast their rest of their body can't even keep up so a lot of these chickens a lot of these cows are literally limping around some of them have like disgusting eyes don't even get me started on farm raised salmon <laughs> salmon oh and i used to be a salmon lover trust me i know I had PCOS and was eating salmon out the ass. Crazy, right? And was wondering why I had PCOS. But now I know. But like I said, people may not know these things. The reason why we might not know these things is because there is a greater distraction. 
and if you all know i preach a lot about the jab being a huge distraction because that's exactly what it is because whilst we're arguing about who's getting the jab and who's not personally if you get it whatever if you don't cool the right people will flog but i will say all this to say it is a distraction in that there is a lot of things that are going on a hidden agenda that we don't see that is going to continue to go on i don't know how many nurses and cnas and cdc workers i've had in my dms but honestly i don't care because at the end of the day this is why we're in the issue that we're in everybody wants this fast answer and it's quick 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 oh let's just go get this it's easier like i've literally had somebody tell me it's it's just easier okay well nothing good is, is gonna get you know here in an instant like you have to build things up things take time good things real real good things take time and the fact that this is an experiment within itself no we've never had an mrna vaccine i've looked that up it's news it's facts so how do you build up your immune system glad you asked <laughs> herbs it's natural in that it was here before any of us was even thought of our grandmas used it, great grandmas used it. I've had a lot of people coming up to me saying, oh, my grandma used sarsaparilla for this, da 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 And I'm like, yes, we need to unearth that. We need to go back to these traditions and these values because if we don't, honestly, we are looking at the oppressor and looking towards the oppressor to help our bodies and heal our bodies. And historically, that has never been the case for us. Historically, we have came together as a community always and we had root doctors. We had doctors going around with their, their satchels and their bags, you know, handing out this medicinal herb, this medicinal plant, you know. And I hate that so many people are giving me backlash, giving me side eye because I choose to speak on what I want to speak on. And I'm going to continue to speak on what I want to speak on because the facts are all there. Historically, these statistics and, and all this research that y'all be drumming up and showing me, CDC, whatever, yada, yada, that's based off of white people. That's based off of the white body. They never care to study us. If they did study us, the facts are always going to be that we are the most oppressed. Always, in every single rank, we got diabetes out the ass. We got high blood pressure left and right, cancers left and right. I mean, come on, it's because we are trying to live like this. We're trying to pick up lifestyles that were never meant to be ours. We're trying to pick up the standard American diet and it just does not work. It literally spells sad. Y'all know this, S-A-D, S-A-D, it spells sad. It's sad, it's, it's depressing. And that's why my melanated people, y'all are going around sick in the mind. Y'all are going around just feeling less than. You, you're, you're not even in tune with your powers because you're not giving yourself the right nutrients, the right vitamins that you need. Things have got to change. Things have got to change and things are going to get better because that's what I feel, that's what I know, and that's what my world is. If that combats your world, if that makes your world feel crazy, then, you know, y'all can do what y'all do. Unfollow, you know comment always i'm not in the mood to argue i'm really not i'm just here to say what i feel and the right people will resonate with it and we'll make our little vibe tribe and we'll go on all about our business <laughs> simple but if y'all haven't already be sure to follow me on my jewelry page bees hidden gems i make beautiful beautiful crystal necklaces crystal earrings i make herbal tea blends i have herbal supplements i am currently in the process of moving so with that being said i have a lot of things sold out i know that shout out to y'all for buying stuff and even selling me out i love it but <laughs> i have a lot of stuff going on but when i get situated i promise you honey new products restock restock new products promo sale i mean we're going up we we are really going up i promise you so this is just the beginning this is only the beginning it's up from here honey good vibes positive vibes tell a friend to tell a friend if y'all have not already and much love to you all y'all have a great beautiful day go outside get some sun honey build your immune system up naturally <laughs> side note i also want to say shout out to one of my great great close friends she has been telling me great things about her healing journey we have actually been healing together she was there with me since day one i won't disclose her name but she knows who she is she watches all my videos always supports but she's actually been able to get off her depression medicine with my products as well as nature you know the universe looking out for my people always because that's just historically how it goes <laughs> so like i said guys stay lifted okay stay out the mix 
drink your water mind your business eat your fruit take your herbs much love you are appreciated see you guys next time bye